Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And this is a 16 by 20 inch pre-primed black canvas that I have added a layer of black paint to because I have just finished a 10 by 20 canvas that you may or may not have seen already. I'm going to just run that along the edges. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula for those of you who are not aware. Best paint spreading tool around. I discovered this when I started pouring and a lot of people have discovered it since I added it to my Amazon link, which is under Show More, underneath the video. First blue link you see says Amazon. And if you shop there, it's at no added cost to you. And it might help keep me here making videos for you guys at YouTube. So thank you very much for all the shopping you guys who are my friends and know me well have done in the last year plus. I appreciate that more than you know. Thank you so much. And mostly I hate wasting paint, so I'm just going to keep knocking the paint that's on my spatula off and going to run my finger down the edge of that. And then I'm going to throw it in the bucket. And I have a couple of sparrows because making videos and not having one when you need one is not a good thing. So I'm going to move that away for right now. Bring back. Oh, that wasn't good. I just cracked the corner of my tile. bring back the colors that I used and put in this little cream pitcher which is stainless steel also on the Amazon link. So I used some of this um, black satin enamel from Folk Art and I used some of this Arteza brown which is probably a very dark brown could be any dark brown and the Grumbacher Prussian blue and who knows whose silver this is they're all good and I think I used too much of that anyway and I'm going to add some of this homemade pink and I do adjust my colors myself. That's a purple that probably started out as a Hobby Lobby color and it's uh, dioxidine more or less. That's a half and half artist loft, uh, black and half semi-gloss from Walmart. This is a Masterminds. Um, no, it's not. It's a Master's Touch. I'll get that right one of these days. And um, this is a black from Anita's Metallic and that goes with everything that I love. And I'm going to use some of these colors in my sky because the painting I just did was lovely. And I, like I said, I wanted some of that pink and I might put some of that iridescent. That was an art mines that is no more. And I'm going to take this extra tile out of here because that's not helping me. And bring back my wet canvas. Now do I want to go sideways or up and down? I think I want to go sideways. I require an edge catcher, and I think I have one behind me. I definitely, that see that white in there? It's actually silver, and there was too much of it for my liking. And I want some other color in there, so I'm just going to go ahead, give myself permission, and throw some more Prussian blue in there, and some more gold. And I know, really, well that was cool. I know whatever I force in there will become more celled, plus the enamel, the satin enamels tend to do that also. So I want to get these things out of my way and start with, my sky is already black, so I don't need to worry about that. What I do want to do up at my top, oh, I see that thing, where's my tweezers? I see something in my painting and I want to take it out while I see it. Tweezers, really good thing to have. Very, very good thing to have. So I meant to leave myself a little space so there wasn't any black. And it occurs to me now that I did not do that. So I'm going to do something really strange that I have never done before. And I'm going to grab my spatula and just shuffle some of that paint right off. Because I want to put in some orange. And when you mix the orange with the black, you get green. And I don't want green. <laughs> I want something else. Um, not so much with this, but with the other. So let me just take that and see if this works. I hope this works. I really want this to work, <laughs> just for the record. Just for the record, that looks sort of kind of like it might. And if it doesn't, I'm going to wipe that off. I have a studio rag I keep handy. Everybody should have one. It's made of... Uh, sweatshirt or t-shirt material, smooth side. The rough side doesn't work as well. A 
because I thought that wasn't going to come out for a minute, and I'm very happy to see that it's decided to, to come out. I'm going to leave this little edge catcher on one end because I may want to use some of it, something from it. And I'm going to keep wiping off my spatula, even though there's black on that side. I think I can still get away with what I've got on this other side. And the uh, that peachy orange color that's an iridescent from Modern Masters seems to blend very nicely with the uh, with the black without creating anything strange. But I am going to keep putting some things in there to change that up because I definitely want to change it up a little bit. That's probably going to just dry really dark. And I'm going to try some Prussian blue in there. This is totally an experiment, for sure, for sure. Whatever I get. Yep, I get green. <laughs> Just had to do it, didn't I? All right, well, we've got a nice green sky. <laughs> and learn to love that. Leave your spatula as level as you can and you'll be happier. I'm going to clean that off again right on this card. And then on my, I have an old sponge from a watercolor box too. That does not want to come out. I didn't put any copper in this time, so I'm going to do that. I hope this works or you won't ever be seeing it. There's always that option for me, you know. You think I do so, so well, but if I don't want to share a video, you don't see it. I want some lighter purple over there, and I don't think I can have it without a color. So I'm going to keep wiping my spatula off, scraping it right off. I'm just going to let those go over the side right now. I kind of want some some uh, some orange, but I don't want to waste that either. I think I am going to give myself permission. Not sure. That was a good idea right there. But if I'm very lucky, I can get away with it. And if I'm not, I'll just pour my land area over it. All right, so that's fairly intense. I like the colors I have in there. The neon from the neon purple from Folk Art probably won't stay. I don't know what that thing is, but it needs tweezers. I can see it. I love the little cells that the purple makes. I really want something that I haven't put in there, and that is the masters the art mine, excuse me. <laughs> We got some cloud things happening at the top. I think probably I want some of that at the bottom too. I don't think it's ever going to show, but um, I want to see how it reacts with the black. So, and I know me, and I bet I didn't. S oh shoot! Okay, well, I don't have long because I have no idea how long because I didn't turn my timer on. So I've got some paint. right here in this cup, as we discussed already. And I am going to go ahead and scrape everything down that I used and put it right in there, because I hate wasting paint and I don't have to. I'm gonna let that run to the edge. And down, 
and back and rock my edge catcher and send it right across. Little tiny edge catcher. Where are my tweezers? I see something floating in there. <laughs> Come here, thing that is floating in there. Yeah, I was right. I'm going to pretty much lose a lot of my uh, that turquoise. I'm hoping that I have a built-in clock after doing this for so long. This is a bamboo skewer and I am just going to continue on as quickly as I possibly can. I really want that to go further across because I know as soon as I put something on the other side it's all going to flow back again. So I'm just going to lead that gently <laughs> and look for more things that do not belong and pull them out. And just blow right on that. I'm going to let it tilt down and spread itself out and then I might even contemplate using the torch. I really do have a straw so maybe I'll do that too. Just to see what colors are hidden in there. And the more spread out I have it, the less likely what I like is going to be affected by what adds, gets added next, which is going to be right there. No worries about that purple because it definitely doesn't, uh, it doesn't stay bright. I'm going to just take whatever's on my edge catcher and put it right back in there again. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link. Under Show More. Under the video. Look for the blue link. I'm going to let that go up first. And then down. I like the stripes. I love stripes. I kind of want to let it run back again so I can sort of center, I can see where the puddle of paint is. And then I can direct it. And I like the bottom is black because I could stop at any point in time. I like the top, the fact that the top has a black, which means I can, I can save myself and cover it when I need to. So that's pretty cool. That's um, that's kind of different, and that's okay. I'm just going to continue on, and if I need some more color in the bottom of that, I'll give myself it. I'm going to go over and back and up. What is that? No, that's just a dot of paint. And down. And then grab my edge catcher again and let all that paint flow. I wish I could keep that purple, I really do, but it winds up being a burgundy, which is okay at this point. That's not something I'm, I'm minding. I can move my edge catcher down. I can see all the paint above moving. I am having a hard time staying under the camera, so I'm sorry about that. And I'm going to let all that paint flow back again and hope I get done in time. It looks like a river, black river with my fingers sticking up through it. I really want some green in there, but I don't think that it belongs. And I'm kind of sorry that I made all that silver disappear because it was looking pretty cool. So I'm going to just um, throw some more gold into that mix. Whoa careful how you pick these paint cups up because what else do I want in there? I'm going to put some more. Do I put that teal in there? No, I don't. Brown? Maybe. Maybe a little bit of brown. Just make it a mess and hope for the best. Ooh, that almost rhymed. <laughs> I'm so silly sometimes. This is getting kind of complicated, but um, I believe if I still hold it in the same place, whoops, I 
and let all of that flow someplace I need it to flow. Spread the other side too. Flow it down. Flow it up. Rock the edge catcher. Watch the other paint spread, which is not hurting my feelings a bit. Rock the edge catcher again, force some paint back up. Have a look at what I've got. Why don't you have a look at what I've got? Because I don't know when this is going to run out. So I'm going to tell you guys now, whatever I'm supposed to tell you is, um, if you want to help me out and you want to keep me making videos for you guys at YouTube, then watch the videos longer. Give me a thumbs up, please. Comments are nice. Thank you guys for all the wonderful comments you've left me over time. I think I'm just going to go ahead and tuck my skewer right into those wide puddles of paint. They're kind of deep. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all my paint mixtures. I really want some blue in there. Do I dare? Let's see what happens. Why not? because it looks like a river to me. I'm just going to drag it across. I should put some of the sky colors in there because if it is a river, it's probably not blue. <laughs> There's just a little bit of that green left in the sky, which is cool. I'll put a little bit of this in here. and hope that I work it out. I don't know what else I need in there. Probably not a whole lot. It is what it is and if the timer hadn't uh, if the timer had been set it might be a little different right now. I do not like that orange as much as I liked it before. So I am going to go ahead and take a risk. I'm gonna wipe off my spatula because it's all got brown on it. Ooh, that's that's not bad. I don't mind that a bit. Got a nice orange cloud. I think it's actually something I could do a few other places and be pretty happy about. I'm nervous you guys are going to be gone, though. I think I'm very tempted to go ahead and put some of that right over that green. Keep wiping my spatula off. I can't believe I told you guys it would turn green and then did it. There, it's a little plain. Hey, that looks like mountains in the background. I kind of like that. Maybe it ought to be some mountains. I think in order to make that into mountains, that it should be blue, dark blue. Come out. Probably purple. My skewer is dry, so I'm just going to roll that right up and down. Yep, I'm not minding that. It'll probably dry looking black anyway, but at least I tried. Looks like there's another part of the river over here instead of the sky, and that's okay. I like happy accidents. That pink was too bright. 
My edges are okay. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida.